Well, hi everyone. This video is about the Swiss Micro SDM42, a modern recreation of the classic HP 42S. And the 42S was a programmable RPN scientific calculator released in 1988 as part of HP's Pioneer series. And at the time, the 42S was a replacement for the aging 41C family. In some ways, it was a curious machine. It was designed to be backwards compatible with programs written for the 41C but lacked its storage capabilities and expandability. But the 42S added a new level of built-in capability with features such as matrix editing, complex number support, an equation solver, user-defined menus and basic graphing capabilities. And the 42S is considered by many to be the best non-RPL scientific calculator ever released by HP. And for many it's HP's best scientific calculator period. And the 42S really did package a lot of power into a pocketable form factor with a two-line display, a great keyboard and excellent battery life. And as we'll see, with the DM42, Swiss Micros has really modernised the 42S and added some significant improvements. So physically the DM42 is slightly more compact than the 42S and around the same weight at 180 grams. And it shares the same hardware platform as the Swiss Micros DM41X. And so the build quality is remarkable. Its case is made from stainless steel with matte black PVT coating. And the DM42 uses the same high contrast 14 to 1 LCD display, which looks really great. And the 400 by 240 pixel display behaves in a similar way to e-ink, where the contents of the LCD is visible for a long time after the calculator is turned off. So for example, now the calculator is turned off, but it's still uh, displaying this image. And the keyboard is also really good. Uh, an earlier revision of the DM42 had a stiffer keyboard action, but this issue seems to be resolved now, and the keyboard on this DM42 has the same feeling as the one on the DM41X. And the keys have a satisfying click to them, and are similar but slightly more clicky than the keys on the Pioneer keyboards. And as you can see, the Swiss Micros keyboard is very similar, but not identical to the original HP. Uh, one big difference is that the uh, DM41 adds an extra row of soft keys uh, to the top of the keypad. And this removes the need for the previous uh, top keyboard row from needing to be overloaded for menu navigation. This is really a great addition. Uh, there's also a new setup key that provides access to DM42 specific extensions. And the Swiss Micros also supports alphabetic letters that can be entered directly via the keyboard. And I'll demo that later. Uh, under the hood, the Swiss Micros uses a low power ARM Cortex 80 MHz CPU and runs a modified version of Thomas Oaken's free 42S simulator that emulates the user experience of the 42S. This is an important distinction with the 41X, uh, which by comparison runs a hardware emulator and uses the original 41CX firmware. And so the DM42 won't always produce identical results to the HP, and Free 42S corrects a number of bugs in the 42S experience and also supports higher precision numbers. And the Swiss Micros runs about 50 times the speed of the HP and comes with a five year warranty. And so the DM42 uses reverse polish notation or RPN with the four level stack. And I have it configured to display X, Y, Z and T stack registers as well as the last X register. And having that extra screen space to view the whole stack is great. And so to calculate 2 plus 3 times 4, get into those numbers onto the stack and then hit multiply and then plus. And the DM42 supports some customization of its main display uh, through the settings menu available via the setup key. And so here, for example, uh, we can configure some information displayed in the status bar. And I have it configured to display the state file name I'm using, and more on that later, and also the battery voltage. But you can also display date and time. Uh, and here you can also change your stack layout and select different configurations of X, Y, Z, T, Alpha and last registers. 
And you can also uh, select some settings by the menu available through the soft key. Uh, so for example here you can toggle through three states uh, for the register format. So uh, left aligned, right aligned and right aligned uh, with separate aligned. Uh, and you can also increase and decrease the font size. And here you can also access a quick, uh, helpful uh, reference guide that uses a simple hypertext browser. Another significant enhancement to the HP is support for direct entry of alpha characters. And on the HP, alpha characters needed to be entered via soft menus, which can be quite slow. So if I hit the end alpha key now, I can use the original HP 42S mode to enter the string ABC. Uh, and here I need to navigate uh, the letters uh, through a system of hierarchical menus. But the DM42 provides uh, direct mappings of letters to keys. And you can enable this by hitting uh, the shift up arrow and uh, in this mode uh, the uh, alpha enunciator changes to an uppercase A. And now I can directly type the string ABC by the keyboard. Uh, there's also a lowercase alpha mode. And the calculator remembers the alpha input mode the next time the alpha key is hit. And as I say, this new alpha entry is really a significant uh, usability improvement. Uh, another headline improvement is around the DM42 support for 128-bit quadruple precision floating point format. And this allows for storage of numbers uh, from 33 to 36 significant decimal digits and exponents of up to plus or minus 16,383. And so if I hit the Pi key, uh, the DM42 will show 11 dits, digits of precision, like on the 42S. Uh, but I can hit the show key now uh, to see uh, the full number of digits stored. Uh, and that's displaying pi to 33 decimal places. And I don't know if this extra precision is an essential feature for most users, but I think it's a great in incremental improvement over the HP machine that many people will appreciate. And for those who are not familiar with the 42S, I'll just do a quick tour through its built-in features. And so the 42S has excellent support for complex numbers and matrices. So to enter a complex number in rectangular form, uh, you can enter the real and imaginary components onto the stack and hit the complex button. And now I can square I to get negative 1. And the 42S displays complex numbers on a single line, which is useful. And some real number functions can produce complex uh, results as well. So say if I take the square root of negative 25, I get 5i. And you can switch uh, complex numbers between rectangular and polar format uh, via the modes menu. And to enter a matrix, you start with the dimensions in the X and Y registers and hit the matrix key and new. And now you can edit uh, the matrix via the edit soft menu. And the alpha register indicates the coordinates of the values that we're entering. So say to enter values row wise uh, that are starting from the top left, uh, we can enter say one, uh, hit the right arrow key two, right arrow, three, and four. Uh, and then exit out. Uh, we'll return the edited matrix to the X register. And say to multiply the entire matrix by two, we can just hit two and multiply. And pressing the show key now, uh, we'll show uh, that there's a matrix in the X register uh, with a matrix descriptor and its first element. And the 42S's support for matrices is pretty solid. Uh, you can create complex matrices, redimension them, and store them in name variables. And the 42S also supports base operations via its base menu. 
And so to enter a number in hex, uh, we can switch to hex mode and there's a special soft menu for entering the digits from A to F. Uh, so I'll enter in a hex number uh, and we can convert that to decimal. And uh, there's also a binary mode as well. And this supports a bunch of bitwise operations. And the 42S can display negative numbers in 2's complement, uh, but doesn't allow the configuration of a word size uh, like the 16C. Another really useful feature of the 42S was the ability to create your own custom menu available through the custom key. Uh, and so here you can assign uh, either functions, programs or variables uh, to soft menus. Uh, so, so say I can assign the absolute uh, function to a soft key, um, I can hit assign and then I'll select um, ABS from the function catalogue. And now I pick the soft key I want to assign to. Uh, and you can provide arguments to functions if necessary. And so this is a really good way to have your commonly used functions available from a single place. And so the 42S supports more or less the same Focal programming language as the 41C. And so if I hit the program key, uh, I can bring up the listing for a program. And again, here, the extra screen real estate of the DM42 really helps. And so I have it configured to display seven lines of code, uh, but the DM42 can display up to 10 lines of code with a smaller font. And so this program is a specialised one that is designed to work with the calculator's solver feature. And the solver is designed to find the solutions for a variable where the program will return zero. So in this case, the program is calculating the full distance equation, an equation where an object falls under gravity in a particular time t. And it begins by defining a label for itself, uh, and then uh, D and T variables that will appear in the solver menu. Uh, it then calculates the distance fallen uh, in time T uh, and subtracts the D variable uh, so the program will return zero. Uh, and also if you don't have the soft menus being displayed you can use the up and down cursor keys to scroll up and down through the program uh, which is a really nice feature. So now if we exit out of program mode, uh, we can hit the solver button and uh, pick our full distance program. And say now if we wanted to know how far an object falls in 10 seconds, uh, we can enter 10 into T and solve for D. Uh, so that's 490 meters. Uh, or say if we wanted to know how long it takes for an object to fall a kilometer, uh, we can enter a thousand meters into D and then solve for T. So that's 14.29 seconds. And so the 42S's solver feature is not quite as convenient to use as the famous HP solver, uh, where you can simply just enter an equation and the calculator picks out the variables. Uh, but it's quite useful nonetheless. And the 42S also has a numeric integration feature that works using a similar model by summing the values of program result uh, returns over an input range. And so overall the programming experience on the DM42 is really great. But the real killer feature of the DM42 is its ability to connect to a computer and be used as a USB drive for transferring programs. And you can download uh, some programs in raw format from the free 42 site and I'll include a link in the description below. But the steps to get programs onto the device are pretty straightforward. Uh, you plug the device into your Mac or PC uh, and then select uh, Setup and then the File menu uh, and you can activate the USB uh, drive. Uh, and then your DM42 should appear as a new drive on your computer and you can just copy program files in and out of your calculator's programs folder. And then after that's done uh, you can go to the Load Program menu uh, and you can pick any of the program files you want to load. So I've already gone and uh, loaded a convert uh, program. Uh, and so I can go out and just execute it. And uh, this program creates a new menu structure with a lot more conversion functions than the built-in convert menu. 
And so the USB connectivity uh, really turns the DM42 more uh, into a programming platform where programs can be backed up and shared with other people. And the DM42 also supports backing up and restoring the full state of the calculator. This would be a great feature for those who have want different setups for different ways they use their device. And lastly, the DM42 also supports uh, flashing the device firmware via the system menu. And there's some interesting projects in the works with alternative firmwares. So the DM42 really packs an amazing amount of power and usability into such a small form factor. Uh, Swiss Micros have clearly thought a lot about the enhancements they've made to the 42S. And they've taken what was many people's favourite calculator and really improved it significantly. Uh, the combination of the larger screen, the dedicated soft keys and the Alpha keyboard combined together to greatly improve the device's usability and the ability to connect the calculator to a PC and import and export programs as well as save and restore state really turns the calculator into a programming platform. And the extra numeric precision is the icing on the cake. So overall it's an amazing product and it's the calculator I tend to reach for most uh, for day-to-day -day use. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful.